And as always, remember to like, share, and subscribe. You hit that notification icon to get a notification of my videos as soon as they're released. That way you don't miss any of them. And welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech and ROM Reviews. Uh, I'm Dave Hayes. We're going to go over AICP uh, 14.0 for the Nexus 6P. AICP is Android Ice Cold Project. Uh, it is a custom ROM with a ton of custom features. Uh, used to have, <laughs> back in Nougat, Marshmallow, those days, man, AICP was a bomb to run, man. It had so many custom features in it. It was like running, you know, Resurrection Remix or DU back in the day and all those other awesome ROMs that had a lot of features. Google's kind of put a, <laughs> a kill to that. Uh, with each update we get from Google, we lose features, guys. So... Uh, Android Pie, we've lost a ton. We gained a couple small features, but we've lost more than what we gained. But, you know, I digress. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and dive into this. I know you guys, you know, are really looking forward to seeing this. So we're going to go ahead and go right into settings. I do have this set up with the onboard theming system. I'm not running Substratum. Um, I have the Octagon set up as per their theming. Uh, just, you know, it's my preference. You guys don't have to go with that. Uh, if you don't want to, that is entirely up to you. That is why we have custom ROMs. You guys can pick and choose what you want to do. So, if we hit About Phone uh, and scroll down here to Android version, you can see this is AICP version 9. Uh, of course, it's their 14.0 edition. So, if we tap on that 9, uh, of course, we're going to get the Pi Easter Egg. And if you tap on that, it will change colors and then go to the website. I'm running the onboard kernel. Uh, I'm not running any aftermarket kernels. It did not encrypt me. Uh, there it is. Okay, uh, I want to take you to the XDA thread for AICP. Um, as you guys can see, the OP is SEMDOC, S-E-M-D-O-C. <laughs> that is the OP. Uh, guys, make sure that you read this entire OP, and you want to read the very first or second or even third post. So if there are any special ways that you need to flash this or any special items that you need, any pre prerequisites, you know, it'll be listed here. Uh, frequently asked questions, stuff like that should all be in here, guys. So uh, what I normally do is I read the first two or three pages, and then I go to the very end and skip back about three pages and read in there that way if there are any updates and any issues with that update you'll find it out um, sorry about that guys i know my reviews go long uh, but i like to be thorough things like that i think you need to know so i i always include them in with my videos so we're going to go ahead and get back into this i know you guys want to see the custom settings so we're going to go to the ai cp extras uh, and first up is going to be your hardware buttons there it is, uh, power menu, quite a few options to choose in your power menu. You have your long press power button for torch. Uh, I have mine set up for two minutes. You guys can set it up if you want. If you don't want it, you don't have to have it. Uh, here are your volume controls, all of that. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip down here to theme and I'm gonna go ahead and throw this into the light mode uh, so you guys can see it better. I know some of you guys don't like it when I'm running a dark theme, so, you know, I like to show the theme that I have set up, and then I like to go back to a light theme. Uh, that way you guys can see it. Next up is navigations. Uh, you can en enable the nav bar or, you know, disable it if you don't want to run with a nav bar. Although, um, you know, I think I would want it. But anyways, it's there. Now, uh, you do have your pie controls. You can turn them on or off. Uh, these are your settings. So if you want to run with Pi, there it is. I haven't tried it. There it is. There's Pi. Alright. Uh, I'm actually going to turn that off. <laughs> that way I don't inadvertently hit that while we're doing the review. Next up is Recents. Uh, you have your Clear All button. Uh, clear All button location. They actually give you six positions for that. 
Uh, I chose the bottom left. Alternative recents, if you want to run those, basically it's like running slim recents. So right now, uh, I am running the standard recents. And if you tick that on, that's going to give you... Maybe, maybe not. All right, doesn't seem to want to let me turn that on. It may be my fault. It may be something, you know, it might just be my phone. I'm not sure, but it's not allowing me to do that. So basically, I have just standard recents, which is fine with me. I don't like slim uh, recents anyways. Uh, next up is going to be status bar. Uh, you have your smart pull down, off, you know. They give you four different options for that. Uh, tap to sleep, brightness control, uh, that's all in your status bar there. Um, icon, your battery icon, you can choose to run it or run without it. But these are your choices. I like the fact that they give us the big circle and the big dotted circle. Uh, battery percentage, Bluetooth battery status, clock. Uh, if you click on the clock, um, you can. they do give us the center position, but it's basically just right, left, and center. Uh, which is good, I'm glad they do that. Uh, AM, PM, date, date, style, date, position. You have your roaming indicator. Uh, you can change the LTE to 4G if you want. You have your network traffic uh, next. And then down on the bottom, you have your battery bar. Uh, if you click on that, it's going to give you some other settings. I would like it if I could color the battery bar the way I want to color it, as opposed to them coloring it, you know, and I have no choice. Uh, the only choices you have are changing the uh, charging colors. So there's a little choice there if you want it. Uh, carrier labels up next and then custom carrier label if you want to run with a custom carrier label. Uh, you can do that too. Did I go over notifications? No, that was up next. Notifications are up next. Uh, ticker, you have your heads up. I always shut that off. Thank you very much for letting us shut that off. Uh, but they do have a head... Uh, heads up notification block or blacklist so if you guys want to you know kill some uh, items that have been you know just bugging the crap out of you with uh, throwing up uh, notifications you can block them there uh, battery LED and then uh, screen on notifications and then of course you have your smart notification sounds down here and I just have it set at default quick settings are up next you have your quick tiles you can turn them on or off running services music tile track uh, now this is where you set up how you want it to look um, it has the uh, automatic quick uh, setting tile columns you can change the columns and uh, the rows if you want now, this is your quick setting so if you just pull it down once right here is your quick setting and I know you guys can't see that because I have blur on in my background then you have enable transparency now if I click that off you guys should be able to see that a lot better these are your quick quick settings uh, and you can change that I have it at 7 the default is 5 but you can change that next up is going to be the lock screen uh, you have your clock style uh, I'm on Sammy bold uh, and just to let you guys see what that looks like if I go to my lock screen that's your Sammy bold double tap to sleep uh, media cover art music visualizer ambient uh, of course, battery info, uh, under security, fingerprint auth uh, authentication, vibration, uh, and it does. Uh, it's really nice. The I'll show you guys later. Fingerprint works really good on this. Uh, these are just options that you can choose to have in your status or in your uh, uh, lock screen if you want. Weather's up next. Uh, you can you know choose your custom icon pack if you guys have one downloaded. Uh, but you can set up your weather service settings. I'm sorry guys. Yeah, if you touch the service settings uh, This is where you set up your location custom location stuff like that uh, Whether you want Fahrenheit or Celsius. Uh, that's where you do that at. So that is the weather uh, Up next is going to be themes. Uh, you do have your base theme. Uh, this is going to give you your background uh, I am on light or default right now uh, just for you guys uh, but you can go with a dark light notifications or a dark with light notifications you can go just dark uh, dark transparent uh, you know black light uh, black with light notifications black or black transparent I was running just straight black uh, and then we have our accent colors you have a lot of accent colors now I would like it if they would have had representations next to it so I know exactly what it looked like they don't 
but they give us a ton of different colors to choose from. And right now I'm running default. I think I am going to switch that up to, uh, let's go orange. There we go. Now you can change. I've noticed this, uh, it, when I go into themes, uh, I notice that it brings up uh, last app. So I'm going to go back into my last app. And this is something nice about Pi. Uh, if you just swipe to the right on the bottom, it'll take you back to your last app. So that's another nice thing about Pi. Uh, you can adjust the corners on this. I have it set at round. You can go default or square. And here are the shape of the quick settings. I have mine set to uh, hexagonal. But, I mean, they give you a lot of uh, choices with that, too. And that is pretty cool. I like that. You have your dashboard icons, too. I have just set round default. You can go round accent, but I like the different colors that uh, that they have set up right from Google. So I just left it the way it is. Uh, you could change the opacity here uh, at the bottom if you want. All right, next up is going to be the other UI tweaks. You can go into quick settings here. And it's your system UI tuner, quick settings, uh, a couple things you can turn on or off there. And a status bar, basically what you want to show on your status bar there. Uh, you have your do not disturb. I have mine set to go with my volume. You have your layout and editor, basic stuff that comes with stock. Uh, I've shown that on other reviews. And then, then you have your lock screen, you have your left shortcut and your right shortcut. You can change them if you want. And uh, let's see, toast icon, basically show CPU info, add on charging and wake on plug. Uh, that's it for the others UI tweaks. Uh, next up is going to be animations. Uh, you do have system animations here. Uh, I don't do animations at all. I just don't like them. Uh, screen off animation. This is one thing I wish they would allow us to just shut off. It is what it is. I just go with default. Boot animation. Uh, it gives you a preview of the boot animation. And I wanted to bring that up so you guys could see that. Uh, because I didn't start this out uh, with the boot animation showing. And I'm going to hit cancel because I like it. I'm just going to keep it the way it is. But you can set a custom boot animation from here. Uh, if you don't want to go into your system and do it manually. Um, toast animations, uh, animation style for your quick setting style is basically I have it rotate, I have it set to super fast, and then linear is what I have set here. Uh, system behaviors up next. Uh, you can change your device host name, uh, media scanner behavior on boot, suspend actions. Guys, this is an area if you're not used to uh, Android very well, if you're new to this, I would stay out of this because <laughs> you could really screw yourself up in here. They do allow you to change your SE Linux mode. I changed it to permissive. It is set by default um, enforcing, just so you guys are aware of that. And next up is system extensions. Basically your system app remover and your uh, app circle bar. And I have that turned on, so if I touch the side, just gives me that old circle bar on the side, which I put up. Uh, I put the apps in it I use most in there so that's a cool uh, feature that they add in I'm glad they did uh, next up is about this is gonna be where you can learn about AICP you know the builders what they do change logs you know stuff like that uh, if you want to go to their developer site on Garrett uh, you know they have a discord server you know if you guys are into discord you could go there uh, but the websites there and I'll give them a little plug we'll go to their website there you go and we're gonna go back you have your update center. Uh, this is where you go to check for updates. Then you have log that shit. Uh, guys, if you have any issues, this is where you're going to go. AICP extra. So if you go in here, you can actually change the look of this right here. Okay, that's all that customizes. It does not customize anything else. So, But basically they have a theme that you can pick you know, on its own right for here. So that takes care of the custom settings. Now I normally hit display, um, I'm just going to scroll through this real quick, I'm not going to hit everything on here because I've already talked about this in almost every single ROM I've done, uh, but you do have like your display size, you can change, you can, you, know, you can change your fonts, this is something that's really cool, I'm glad they add that in there, I wish more ROMs would do that, uh, sound is the same way, there's really nothing in there except for one thing I want to bring up. 
they put in link ring and notification volume switch thank you very much for that um, I love to uh, unlink them because I like to have my notifications turned all the way down and my ringer turned all the way up everything else is basically the same I think I've went pretty much over everything uh, I will go into the developer options and let you guys see quickly uh, a couple of things in there uh, I didn't notice anything out of the norm USB debugging and if we go down to drawing again everything here was set to one uh, I like to say none uh, and another cool feature <laughs> is the cutouts uh, this is the pie cutout uh, to mimic the pixel because there are a lot of phones out there that actually have cutouts and this allows you to change them you can go with a tall cutout if you want and it will actually throw a tall cutout in there if you want it uh, you want to go with a double cutout it'll give you a double oh, okay double cutout there you go you have your double cutout corner cutout and let's go corner there you have your corner and I'm gonna go back to device default and we're back so I wanted to show you guys that that's pretty cool that they have that in there I think it's just kind of funny uh, that is it um, this is the launcher that it comes with this is their launcher I'm not running pixel launcher the camera is working great uh, I took a lot of pictures and I even took some video so if I go into gallery I will show you guys the pictures and video I took so we're gonna go into camera uh, this is the video see if I can get it to play sideways Now I had made a big mistake by putting a sun to my back, but as you guys can see, video is work. And here are the pictures I took. I mean, nothing fancy, but you know, I did take them. I wanted you guys to see that uh, the camera works. You know, if, if you do your job, uh, the camera will you know work for you. So uh, you know, I'm not a very good photographer. Hell, I can barely make videos. So, so everything's working guys um, I can't I can't find any faults uh, I've been making phone calls on it sending texts I, everything is working for me on and I'm on Verizon uh, you know it, it's great speakers sound really good uh, I did play a couple songs on it and it, you know the speakers sound really good on it I can't think of anything else I think we're gonna call it a video <laughs> as done uh, so guys if you like the video make sure you give it make sure you give it a thumbs up um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that button next to the subscribe button uh, so that you get notifications of any new video I put out. Uh, I want to thank all of my subscribers, especially those of you that's been with me forever. You guys are awesome, uh, and I'll see you guys on the next video.